Uh, as you guys travel a little bit further, um, you come across another lit part of the cave. Um, this place, however, is scented with like vanilla and lavender um, and lilac. You see all of these candles lining the walls and along like different natural shelving like rock faces and things like that. And it feels very humid as well. I don't know if we want to be in this room. Who knows what they're going to be doing in here. Uh, well, you can see into the room. Uh, there's nobody in the room at the moment. But... They might not use this whole place. They might just use that main part. Yeah, but... This place has candles candle. all over it. Candles going. And, and scented burning. candles. Uh, inside, you see pools. Um, like, circular... It's a large room. Kind of secluded off to the side of it um and yeah you see a lot of different pools of water hmm. interesting well isabella did say she's getting things ready i will let you know um you are going deeper into this and not necessarily will you be able to get contacted if you go further by tom by anyone like satellite, satellite phones and walkie talkies will only work if signal can actually reach them and if you go very deep into like underground or into caves or anything yeah. Then you're gonna, yeah. There, let me. Come on. I get back to the group. Oh yeah, I would have said you got back a while ago. Hey Frankie, bitch. This is horrible. Drink, oh, bitch. Frankie leaves with her glass of wine. I'm going to pawn off the wine to Frankie. No, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. What are you guys wanting to continue? Or are you guys wanting to uh, go back? What do you want to do at this point? How long have we been here for? Um, probably like an hour, hour and a half. But it also took you like an hour to get out here too. And an hour to get here. Because we're wanting to Are we wanting to be there when the stuff gets there or it's like everywhere we look there's something stranger going on uh frankie you got the glass of wine just let you know oh sweet free wine you know why because hey frankie take this it tastes terrible i don't understand how you people drink it this is why i told you you wouldn't want it Oh, hey. oh, I learned. Did she just say, oh, hey, move one? Yeah. <laughs> like, you recognize the flavor now? I mean, it wasn't really great, but it was drinkable. <laughs> and I don't really drink wines very often, so I think I can taste. So, are we deciding to move on, or what are we wanting to do? Because it's like, we just found this pool area. Keep going. 
or take a dip in the pool. As great of an idea that sounds, it is probably freezing, even though it's humid. Oh, right. Because this is, uh, the norm. I'm going to go stick my hand in the pool. It is probably the temperature of a warm tub. I'm going to take off my boots, roll my legs up, stick my feet in the water, and pull a towel out of my backpack so I can dry it off when I'm done. You have discovered one of the... Let me just change this quick. It's a little too intense for uh, finding a geothermal pool. You have discovered a series of geothermal pools that are being fed by underground hot springs. So this is one of the areas of the Nahani Valley that has a very different temperature than the outside world. Um, you, like I said, this is probably like not a super, super hot bath, but a nice relaxing bath temperature so are we waiting for this one to get out of the water you tell me what do you want to do you just saw him take off his boots after he dipped his hand in you guys, this is really nice. You gotta come try it. It's warm. It's like the perfect bath temperature. Okay, okay, I'll come try it. I'm gonna walk right behind him and put a foot on the back of his on his back and just push him in. Did he say he had a towel, right? He yes. said he had a towel. On did did okay. you have all the rest of your like equipment and stuff on you, or did you take your backpack off and stuff? Uh, I wasn't taking backpack off. off. I'm just sticking my feet in the thing. So. Yeah, I know, but how did you get your towel? Not did anymore. you take your backpack off? Oh, I guess. Your... Yeah, I guess I would take my backpack. Okay, off. that's what I was checking. All right, so yeah, you get pushed into the water. I'm going to grab Frankie's foot and pull her in. <laughs> now they're both in. Can he pull me in? Like, I is don't he strong know. enough? You were on one foot. Well, you, Yeah, you were pushing with one foot, so you would be off balance. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. So both Frankie and uh, Wyatt are in this lovely water. Um worth it <laughs> what are your victor and maxine doing at this not getting in the water maybe laughing yeah maybe i think he, i think frank you might have deserved that one worth it yes it does look nice but it's actually i mean it, it's not bad. It's not cold. Uh, you hear the yeah. crunching of well, dirt uh, coming down the hallway towards you guys. I'm gonna try and scramble out of the pool. Yeah. Well, here comes Isabella. Yeah, and her gang. No, it's gang just again, it's just nine. one person. Oh. Oh, I see you've discovered our little secret. Our sex pool? These are the natural geothermal pools. They have, um, the water is very mineral rich and it has unique proper properties that are very healing, actually. That makes sense. I think I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass today though. Oh yeah. Do you feel no healed, problem. Frankie? I don't know if there's anything wrong with me before. I'm trying to. I want to check now to see what your um, 
see if you had any harm. Yeah, maybe you had a little scratch or two. Um, I mean, I feel all right. Did you have harm? I don't know if you're keeping track on the, uh... I was, hold on. If you're keeping track on roll 20, then no, you don't have any harm. No. What about you, Wyatt? Oh, Max, Did you have any harm? Max, Maxine should have dumped in. She's got two. Ew. Well, she already said no, so... I yeah, I'd rather I'd rather keep going a little bit, and I don't want to be like wishing as I go along. I don't have anything to drive myself with. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, Wyatt took off his boots. However, Frankie did not take off their shoes. So oh, they're <laughs> gonna have squishy. Feet. You're gonna have squishy feet. Wyatt is not. Plus, then we're walking home. Yeah, you got an hour hike ahead of you still. Oh, I'm sure I'm Isabel's got something to here. dry your boots off with. All right. Um, so the rest of the group will be here probably in about an hour. I'm not sure if you want to join in on the service, but um, yeah. I just wanted to make sure all the candles were still running. Um, I'm heading back. Hey guys, to the, the service table. sounds like a lot of fun. No, I think they I'll are... pass. Not a they are still running, but. Kid, I think we have dinner planned. Yeah, yeah, we got some stuff to take care of, for sure. Maybe next time. Of course. And she walks back down the hallway. Um, did you cover up the uh, trap door again, or no? Probably not. Okay. Um, okay. Is so this not down the trap door? No, this is further no. down the hallway. We went further down. Okay. Came up. Uh, so you guys are continuing into the ruins then? I'd like to go yeah. on a little ways and see what we can find. Okay, uh, so as you wander along, you find some different um, relics of the past, let's call it, um, like ancient tools and weapons and different uh, pottery shards and stuff. Um, they're mostly rusted and old, um, not very effective anymore, but they, they did the job. Um, but you can kind of see as you go through the different like technological and cultural advancements of the civilization um and yeah then you feel as you're going in you're on a steady decline down like you're slowly going down further and further all right As you get the further down, probably like how okay, give me a time period. How long are you staying down here for? Like, if it's just an empty hallway that you're going to be wandering around, kind of spiral down further into the unknown, how much longer are you going to walk? I'd say probably half hour maps because if we know it's going to go on longer we know we have to come back and plan better yeah okay so i'm going to go ahead and say you wander around you find like these different relics and stuff like that i'm not sure if you're collecting them or just taking pictures of them but you find that probably just probably just pictures oh. okay so as you're going down however you basically are like this is just continuing on forever let's go back Okay. So you go back out, correct? Yes. We got a we got a plan for like a whole day or two or 
maybe even three down here. Yeah, this place seems just to go on and on and on. So I, I'd really like to know what's at the end, but uh, today's not the day for that. I didn't think this place was as big as it was. Yeah, when they said ruins, I was expecting, I don't know, just, it didn't Some... seem that big when we were driving by. Okay, so you head out of the ruins and head back to um, civilization. Um, uh, bup, bup, bup. As you come out of the ruins, you actually look at your phone and you have a voicemail. All of us? Whoever was the main contact person. Probably right. probably two of you. Okay. Right. So I'm going to look at my phone. Oh! I missed a call. I got a voicemail. Did you guys get anything? Anything? Uh, basically, the voicemail is just Tom. And he's like, well, Charlie tried getting a hold of you guys, but um, none of you are able to be reached. Um, all your stuff is here, so get back whenever you can. Okay. Guess we're hiking back. Well, How are your feet, you, Frankie? Plan anyway, huh? How are your feet? Are you going to be able to make it with those wet socks? Yeah, it's fine. Right. While we were walking after the pool, I would have taken the boots off and just kind of tied the strings together and thrown them over my shoulder and just kind of walk in the sack. Okay, so we're heading back. Okay. What, what are you doing? Well, Frankie's got their book. That yeah, I'm gonna try and look into those symbols and stuff, see if I can find anything on the internet, and then if all else fails, I'm gonna go talk to my local creepy people. <laughs> local creepy people. So, when we come back, Victor... It's like, well, look through the pictures that we took, because there was all that stuff, but it's like, yeah. It was, like you said, a lot bigger. A lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. Do you think, do you guys think that it has any significance on, on what's happening around here, or? Uh, probably not on, uh, just Shadow Stalker, or whatever the hell is going on there, but probably yeah. Something. It just seems so weird. And you would think that somebody would know more about the ruins. Isabella didn't wasn't much help, but maybe they just commandeered it because it was an old building. Like an ancient building. Maybe I'll go talk to Olivia. What? Maybe she knows. You think Olivia's gonna help you? What? Yeah, I just kind of reasons to go talk to Olivia. Okay. You seem a little stalkerish, I think, here. What are you talking about? No. How are you feeling, Wyatt? Fine. He only had like two sips of the wine. He could be like he could be what? like those twelve year those twelve year olds that were in our that's why Frankie's feet are okay, because <laughs> they can't feel them. Why wouldn't I be fine? I got a nice warm bath while we were in there. Nice. Nice for you. Yes, we had 
We had some 12 year olds that thought they were drunk on Irish cream cheesecake, so. <laughs> They're feeling pretty loaded up when they shared a cheesecake, so. There was like three who of them knows? sharing one. Yeah, who knows how why it feels with a couple sips, sips and, of moon. And, and the alcohol was cooked out of it, so. No, I yeah. know. Oh, no, we know. All right. Um. Frankie. Yes. You're just Googling things or what? Uh, that's where I'm going to start is just trying to. So can you kind of, can you kind of describe to me what you said cross reference? Like what, what exactly yeah, is your So plan? like, I'll, I'll try and look up like pictographic languages and I can, I can try and cross reference those to see if any of those match up with this language so that I can at least figure, start to figure out like what language it is. And then I can go from there and like dig into that language. If there's already a cipher that exists for that language, stuff like that. Hmm. Just based on what the language is, I would say there's similar languages out there that come from like different indigenous tribes. However, uh, nothing is like an exact match to what okay. this is. I have a bump on the end of my tongue that's annoying me when I talk. Um, does it narrow it down at least to where it's like an indigenous language? Yeah, I would say. Okay. But whether or not that helps you is another question. Um, I, okay, so knowing that it's that, I'm going to try and look up whatever other different indigenous people are like native to this area i guess um see if i can narrow it down that way there's rumors of different subcultures um who have lived in the area however uh nothing is concrete um I, i'd say that's probably the best you're gonna get out of that hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to settle for asking around instead. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go pop in on Monica again. Ooh. Victoria. I was like, did she just say Veronica? Um, I did. She must be related to my wife. Um, okay, so, um, you're just going to head over to Evans Antiquities? Yes. Just cross the street. Uh, what is the rest of the crew doing? We're back. I'm going to go back already. and process the uh, footage that I got, but it's late, so I'm going to have to go. Like in real life? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, okay. So that's what Wyatt is doing with the rest of his time. Yeah. So oh. we're going back, like Tom called. So we'll go back and see what's happening with Charlie and um with the stuff. Yeah, no, I understand. 
Um, so once you get back to the lodge, there is large boxes strewn about the conference room. Oh, it's nice of you guys to show up. Welcome. Um, I don't know where to put this stuff. He's trying to figure out where to put the stuff for the boxes. All right, well, let's take it to Charlie's room. We'll get things going there, get it all set up. I still don't know if that's a good idea. To I don't care. It. Whatever. It's like I tried talking to him about it before. He says it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. We already burnt one house down. What's a hotel? <laughs> uh. Okay. So then I guess we'll go to Frankie. You guys are just setting up the equipment in uh, the room, I take it. So, the more exciting thing would be Frankie. <laughs> Uh, okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna head in to see Victoria! Oh, welcome back. Um, Hi. are we shopping or are we looking for more advice? Uh, probably a little of both. I'm gonna have to start charging. Gotta make money somehow. You might um, as well. Um, so I had gone out earlier and had stumbled upon this really old book, but uh, the internet kind of failed me on trying to figure out the language. I was hoping you might be able to point me in the right direction. Um, and I'm going to set the, like, I had, I would have wrapped it back up in the fabric. I'm going to set it down and, like, gently, like, open it up. And, like, oh, wow. flip, like, flip open to a page. Just real gently. Um, stop touching. Right now. And she reaches into a drawer, uh, like a bottom drawer beside her. And she pulls out a pair of like white gloves and she hands you a pair as well. Okay. Your oils will destroy the pages, so. Right. All right. A, this is ancient. Um, probably 300, 400 years old. Jeez, okay. Um, honestly, it might even be further than that. Um, and she kind of like flips through it a little bit. Um, interesting. There were some like close matches online but nothing exact yeah it gives off like different indigenous languages that are from around the area here i'm curious and she kind of like flips through it a little bit a little bit more i think that Oh. Sorry. Oh, crap. That's... One second. I think I was off in my... Estimation. Okay. I think I know. I don't know the language. I need to look it up and kind of figure this out for you. If Can I keep this? 
please i just i would just love to know what it says if, if you can help you're more than welcome to hold on to it i think i know where it's from and i think you're going to be quite surprised when i tell you this you have my attention I always heard rumors, and I read history books, and I learned about this from a long time ago. Um, honestly, back even in school, we never learned the language, obviously, but we learned the history of our area. I think this is from the Nahanic civilization, which wasn't even 100% proven to have existed. But... Well the same writings all over the ruins just north of town well it's not all over it's not in like the central chambers or anything um you yeah. have to go deeper in i tend not to go in there because that's where the group meets i'm not going to go into detail about their situation you know, i ran into isabella anyway the Nahanic civilization was around 1200 BCE. That's 3,200 years ago. So this book is a couple mil millennia, right? Uh, is that a thousand years? century yeah millennia is a thousand years old so yeah. so yeah uh yeah three three millennia three millennia two centuries and two decades and somehow it is very well preserved uh, you would laugh at how well preserved this is if I told you where I found it. Um, so, yes, it's going to take me a bit of time. I might have some info for you in a little bit, but I need to cross-reference this. I need to check in with different... This is going to be a lot of work. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to dive into this. Oh, I'm glad I came to the right person then. I assure you that I will do my best. This is amazing. I am... I'm honestly just about to explode. So if you want to be here for that, then great. Um, if not, um, I'm going to be closing early to go over this. I will leave you to it then. I, I'm going to take the gloves off and I'll hand those back to her. Thank you very much. And uh, I will lock you out. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just at the lodge across the street. If you... I know, I see you guys there all the time. I figured. Um, okay. Have a great day. Have fun. And she gets up off her chair and goes and locks the door behind you. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna head back to the lodge for a little bit, I guess. I don't really know what else to do here. Alright, so are you going to talk to Maxine and Victor about this at all, or are you just going to keep that to yourself? Um, I'll put my head into the conference room, see if they're down there. Uh, they're supposedly in um, Charlie's we'd room. Be we'd be hauling this stuff up to yeah, Charlie's fine. area. Because the way it sounded, there were boxes all over the place, so... Mm -hmm. So um, how things go? Uh, What's I up? may have accidentally uncovered a lost civilization that no one ever confirmed was real. What? What? 
So I took that book. Right. Found to Victoria across the street. Yeah. So at first, like, she thought the same thing I did. It's indigenous, it's a couple hundred years old, stuff like that, right? But none, sure. of, none of the indigenous languages I could find matched it perfectly. Like, it was, like, bits and pieces of, like, each one. Okay. So, obviously, since the internet failed me, I took it to Victoria. And she saw, thought the same thing, kept flipping through it. We're pretty sure this thing is, like... A little over three millennia. It's like three like thousand. Yeah. Um she remembered reading a bunch of stuff about a unconfirmed Nahonic civilization from like twelve hundred BCE. And she thinks this Here. is that. That um, it's gonna take her a bit, but she's gonna try and decipher it. And you left it with her? She wouldn't even let me touch it without putting white gloves on, so... Well, at I least that's something. I destroy that. I can't... I can't believe... Well, it seemed like it was in pretty good shape. That something that old. And I found it in the wall. Like, How? How does something like that? Okay, well, the the bone the bones that we found down in the basement is maybe it's the same civilization. It had the same writing on the box. Oh. I think I just stumbled on something, like, wild. Oops! What'd you stumble across? Huh? What'd you stumble across? Are we back? That... There we go. Sorry. That's Tom. Oh. I assumed he would have been listening. Well, we you missed, said you stumbled across something amazing. What did you stumble across? I just found, like, a 3,000-year-old book in relatively amazing condition, considering its age that probably most likely leads back to a civilization that no one's ever confirmed existed. Cool. Will this lead us to the monsters? What? I don't know. I haven't been able to decipher it yet, because it's in a language I can't read. I see. Okay. It's still an exciting, it's still an exciting Yes, it discovery. is. It, it is very exciting. I'm not taking that away from you. By any means. Right. Are you, are anyway. you wanting to get like a paper published now, or what? what's your plan? I don't know. I have to d figure out how to read the thing first and actually confirm it. But, I mean, anything that had that same writing, I got stills of, so. And I have footage of it on the GoPro. Why it has some of the footage, too. Like. We have the data for it if I can successfully get this deciphered and legible. So I don't know. I've never been published. I mean, I used to do, like, rant vlogs and stuff, like, just proving shit, but it's not like that paid any better. Well, I guess if this uh, that takes off for you, that'd be awesome. You know, I'll have to find another analyst, but we'll do that when we come to it. Well, we'll see what happens.
All right. So you got your uh, equipment all set up, or what are we doing? Yeah, I think we're still uh, had a little tweaks here and there, but I think we're pretty much got our setup. So, what is your plan exactly? Are we setting up cameras all around the room? Are we taking pictures? What are we? Uh, what are we thinking? We're gonna have to set it on photos. If it's anything like last time, it's gonna mess with the constant. I, no, we have a I think we'll do both because I don't think he's got the same amount of power as uh, the other one did. So I think we'll be might be able to get some video too. You never know. She has a name. Yes, she does. Rachel. Nice. Right. We're pretty sure he's looking for his stuff that we've taken, so we can use that to our advantage as well. You think so? Oh, that's what Charlie thinks, so we'll try it. We have to send Charlie out in the woods with the stuff to drag him back, then we will. All right. So, for you, Frankie, just to let you know, if everything works out, you can go on your expedition into the woods. Um, sorry, if, if everything doesn't work out, you can go on your expedition into the woods and go in on whatever thing you're wanting to do with that guide. And um, yeah. if it does, well, maybe next time. Cool. Okay. I guess we'll figure out the last little tweaks on this thing in the meantime. Is there anything you guys want to do quickly here? No. Until Charlie gets here, it's a good spot to leave it. Okay. Uh, all right. One second here. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing that. Um, I also don't know how to... Uh, I'm not sure. Somebody sent a message in chat. I uh, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't. Considering it just got sent twice, I don't think that's real. I don't know how to get rid of it. This is why we need Charlie here. <laughs> Oh, too bad. Uh, anyway, okay. So, uh, if that's the case, then we just need to do one thing quickly here. Uh, did we conclude the current mystery? No, and we actually added to it. <laughs> well, added to a mystery, not the current mystery necessarily. Did we save someone from certain death or worse? No. I don't think I don't think anybody came close to dying. 
did we learn something new and important about the world? I would say yes. Yes. Yeah. Did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? No. So, you all get one experience point. Maxine levels up. Yeah, so do I. What are you guys taking? Um... So, for anybody who doesn't know, Maxine is a gumshoe, and uh, Frankie is a mundane. Um, the take a move from the playbook is how you get the advanced stuff, right? No. If you look at the advanced improvements, that's how you get your advanced stuff. Oh. The take a move from out of the playbook gets you, like, if you wanted to be able to, for example, the round, which is what Victor is, one of his moves is safety first gives you plus one armor. So if you were like, oh, I want some armor, that's an option you can take from another playbook. If you want a, I've read about this sort of thing where you roll sharp instead of cool when you act under pressure, that's a move from the expert. Speaking of which, that's something that maybe Maxine should take. Uh, not an option for her. What do you mean? So her upgrades are uh, plus one charm, cool, sharp, tough. Take another gumshoe move. Take another gumshoe move. Gain a haven. Add four additional new contacts or add a harm box. Oh, That's yeah, it. I see that. Yeah, see, see for both, both the mundane and the gumshoe, you need advanced improvements, which if you read after you've leveled up five times, you qualify for an advanced improvement. There's mark two of the basic moves as advanced, which is when you can get your act under pressure, those things, those become advanced moves now. Yeah, so she can decide what she wants to take next time. Is she not here? Uh, I think I'm oh, just going to do away for a the plus one cool so I don't have a negative. That's what I did, but I did it on weird. Weird. Nice. What mundane moves do you have? You have oops, obviously. <laughs> I have oops. I have panic button. When you need to escape, name the route, you'll try and roll plus sharp. Um, that's what I did when we first got cornered by yeah, the... Yeah. Um, rolled on your skateboard underneath the monster, I remember. Yes. Um, leveled up. Oh, cool. I have the yeah. power of the heart, which I got Just last time I leveled these. up. Nice. Um, it's fighting a monster. If you help someone, don't roll plus cool. You automatically help as though you rolled a 10. Nice. I'd have to look at what the other gumshoe moves are. And then I also have trust me, when you tell a normal person the truth in order to protect them from danger, roll plus charm. On 10 plus, they do what you say, no questions asked. On a 7 to 9, they do it, but the keeper chooses. One from, they ask you a hard question first, they stall and dither a while, they have a better idea. On a miss, they think you're crazy and maybe dangerous. You don't have Don't Worry, I'll check it out. Oh, and don't worry, I'll check it out. I didn't scroll down far enough. Okay. I was going to say, then you might have some experience that you shouldn't have had. Yeah, I didn't scroll far enough down. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, does going into that trap door count? 
Uh, I wouldn't say you were by yourself necessarily. They were just above you. Okay. I was just curious. I, I, I consider by yourself like breaking off from the group to go and explore something, but they were like right at the top of the ladder, so. Okay. Hey, uh, I figured it was that. No worries. And uh, Maxine, do you have an idea of what you're wanting? He's struggling trying to get this thing open, so yep. I'll uh, I'll decide before next time. I'll get you to show me, because I I've got a couple different gumshoe options or something. Yeah, you can do take another gumshoe take... move, take another gumshoe move, get plus one yeah. charm, get plus one cool, get plus one sharp, get plus one tough. Um, add another harm box to your track before dying, so you could make it so that you are uh, harder to kill yeah harder to kill. perfect yeah um, you could get a haven it yeah. takes longer to die yeah I want to look at this I don't want to choose right this second I'll I'll uh, get you to show me and then I'll pick before next time alright alright well that way, I... that way I can properly read it perfect uh, well uh, we got two level ups and I think actually Wyatt was only one away from a level up as well. I'm not sure, uh, <clears throat> but hope everybody has. You can a ask great... him before next game. Yeah, it's fine. Hope everybody has a great night, and uh, we will see you all next week. Hopefully, Wyatt won't be there anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter. All right, he said he had no internet. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, we'll hopefully have. Charlie next week, even though he said he would be here this week, but whatever. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Namaste. Namaste.